This holiday season, we wanted to take note of what you may see and hear every day, city street performers. While music clubs have more prestige, one musician still prefers to take it right to the streets. News 4's Andrew Siff tells us why. Here in Harlem, there are musicians everywhere, but beyond the legends who play places like the Apollo are everyday jazz players. They may struggle to make it from one gig to the next, but they never stop playing. This is one man's story. One, two, one, two, three. As a drummer, I'm just living music right now. I never ever had a day job. <laughs> Playing the bass is my day job. I'm a musician. Although a club carries more prestige, but in my heart of hearts and in my soul of soul, the music comes from the street. On the street, just north of the crossroads of the world, you can find Les Goodson. <laughs> Although Les is the first to admit it took him a while to find himself. Right, thank God you. bless you. Keep playing. Okay, thank you. All right. Born and raised in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. This building here used to be a liquor store. In the shadow of the clock tower and other landmarks. When I was a kid, I used to be able to see the Empire State Building. The kid from Fort Greene, now 60, worked as a teacher, as a cab driver, but his calling is jazz. <sighs> You are so consistent, man. It's amazing. <laughs> In the 14th Street Tunnel, where others have carved out their own space, Les works the east end of this passageway. I've played this song probably continuously almost for five hours. But one day he figured out the money pales compared to above ground. If a million people gave me a dollar, I'd be a millionaire. You got enough money to go to a Broadway show. You have disposable cash. All of it is enough to make his rent. I would put playing music out on the street on a higher level than playing in a club. Paris Blues, tonight, I'll be there tonight. That's where you'll find him. And like so many other jazz greats in Harlem, behind every note is a life's work. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. Thank you. Nice. Up next, we take a look at kids celebrating Kwanzaa. But